but no one took so. Learn quickly, there was nothing to go wrong. Games to play, can't take it from snow. Cause the devil is a liar. Tell you the truth, man. It's all in what you do, hey. Some things you gotta do, hey, 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 hey. Hey, Barbershop Conversation, guys, feel free. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. How we doing? How we feeling, man? Hopefully everybody having good. Don't forget, we go live every night, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we got uh, Brianna Taylor's legal team coming in tomorrow night uh, in the barbershop. But tonight we talking shit and swallow and spit, man. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, we talking about Earl Spence, man. And uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's and something else. I but yeah, feel free to click the link. You know, you know what it is when you come in the barbershop. All right, let's jump into this shit, dog. <laughs> I saw a blurb and I had to stop. I had to stop reading this shit, man. I just literally had to stop. Oscar Valdez, come on, dog. But first, let me shout out to no, I don't I don't want no disclaimers. Uh Oscar Valdez. I've never seen a Williams. I've never seen a Young. I've never seen a um Jones. I've never seen uh, McWilliams. I've never seen none of these last names on your on your box rack. Your whole career is a duck. Gary Russell has been a champion as long as you have been a champion. You've you've never even mentioned his name. I believe you were at Junior Featherweight early in your career. You never fought Guillermo Rigondeaux. You know what I mean? You I mean you ducked on the same on the same on the same network, you ducked uh, uh, Shakur Stevenson. Your whole career, you have ducked. You know what I mean? And you've gone to life and death. I remember, and this is just all, all off memory. Uh, I remember you got knocked down in Arizona, if I'm not mistaken, by a journeyman. I remember you going life and death with Scott Quigg. I remember you getting knocked down or being down in a fight against a 122 fight by Adam the Pitbull Lopez. And those are just fights that I just remember off the top of my head, you know, and uh, um, I don't think you're as good. I, I, I First, of all, I think your best days are behind you. I think I, I, I talked about that before. Um, but but to say that uh, he said Floyd Mayweather created the ducking. <laughs> no, if, if Floyd Mayweather created the ducking, <laughs> you've remixed it to the highest to, in the highest form. OK, you. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's just uh, un, like <laughs> I just skimmed through his box rack before I start this video. That's the extent of my uh, of my research on it, because I follow. I've, I think I've seen his first fight, if I'm not mistaken. But um, um, it's, it's, it's just awful when these guys and and I'm going to use these guys. All right. These guys. Ha, can't have never fought a black guy, right? Who are who was the the apex of his division? Gary Russell is the best in his division. He's the longest reigning champion, I believe, in boxing or in belts that matter. You know, I, I know that NABF and um stuff like that. But uh, Gary Russell has looked has looked you square in the eye, and you've re been reluctant to unify. The reason why you want to fight Burchell. Because you know you're going to get a rematch. If you fight Gary Russell, you're going to get out class and no one's going to want to see it again. If you fight Shakur Stevenson, you're going to get out class and no one's going to want to see it again. But people are going to want to see you fight uh, Burchell because guess what? It's going to be uh, 800 to 1,200 punches thrown and someone's going to get cut. And more importantly, you, you're going to get knocked down and they're going to call you a Mexican warrior. And then, they, and then you're going to say a rematch. rematch. And uh, if we have fans, uh, obviously your fans is going to support that fight. And uh, um, and StubHub, the only place that fight can be is in StubHub, you know, so uh, um, that fight is going to happen and that's it. So you're not calling. <laughs> it's just I, I mean, these guys just get away with brutal. I mean, it, it's just insane. But, man, enjoy your fight. It's not going to be a clean fight. You, you, you're going to get hurt. You, you've you've been stunned in your last five or six fights. And I'm just going off memory. You, you know what I mean? You were about to lose. I think the bell saved you in one fight. I think that fight in Arizona, the bell saved you. So I think that, uh, uh, honestly, Oscar Valdez's best days is behind him, are behind him, excuse me. And uh, um, and that's it, you know. Uh, outside of that, 
um that's it man but to say i mean but to go on record and say floyd started the ducking if you've never fought a black athlete and he's been a champion as long as you've been a champion in that division and you've had them calling you out for three years and you've never even mentioned their name come on dog call a spade a spade man oscar valdez you are the president you are the el jefe you are the el jefe of ducking period you know what i mean so uh anyways man uh barbershop conversations man you guys go enjoy the fights man i'm gonna run around with the kids and do it it'll be on my tv but you know it is gonna be is he's gonna win by unanimous decision he went life and death with the untalented scott quigg you know what i mean so i mean what uh, what more can we expect you know so but anyways man i actually thought adam the pitbull lopez beat him actually you know if i'm not mistaken or it was a draw somewhere in there i i I thought that. I don't know. Correct me. Did he? St oh, he stopped him. I, I stand corrected. I think he got stopped or something like that. If I'm not. I, I, I thought he was winning up until the fight was stopped. But you guys correct me in the chat. Feel free. But uh, anyways, man, uh, I appreciate y'all. Don't forget, we go live tonight. 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We talking shit and swallow and spit tonight. And tomorrow night, we got a big one, y'all. We got a big one. And uh, Breonna Taylor's law team. And I know you guys got a lot of questions for them. Uh, I, I, I can't wait for y'all to help me produce this show. You know what I mean? The barbershop is only as great as his patrons. And guess what? We got the greatest patrons in the universe. Fuck the world, Craig. In the universe, Tyrone. <laughs> All my real ones. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.